This is probably the weirdest video I've ever done because I'm not at home, but I could not wait to tell you about Elemental Beta version 3.21. And the big thing that's been brought out is the taxonomy feature that's now part of LoopGrid. Now, if you're using LoopGrid as part of Elemental, and I'm guessing a lot of you are, a lot of us have wanted to add in categories, whether it's for posts or products. Let me explain. You've got a loop grid for your products and you can make it look however you want. But if you then wanted to have like a loop grid for your categories, you were kind of building it manually and there were many ways you could do it. You could use other third party plugins as well. I actually was going to do a video last week that I just held off because something started bugging me about could I find a better way to do it. I was doing it manually, I was using custom fields, and yeah, it worked, but it, was, but it was a little bit fiddly. Anyway, Elemental Beta version 3.21 now gives you that feature, and it is super easy. Now, I'm not going to show you any screenshots because of where I am, but believe me, I've been using my mobile phone today, and I've been testing it out, and anyone that's ever tried to build a website or mess around with templates on a mobile phone will know just how flipping tricky it is, but I cracked it. And I just want to share a few tips with you as well. So to get Elemental Beta version 3.21, you've got to go to Elemental in WordPress, go to your settings, go to tools, go to your versions and say you want to be a beta tester. Always do this on a staging site or a dummy or a fake copy of your website. Don't do it on your real production live website. Once you've done that, within a couple of minutes, you'll get told to update Elemental Free and Elemental Throw to version 3.21. Go and do that. And basically, what you then do is go over and create a brand new page with wherever you're going to create your category template. I did not explain that very well. Let me explain. You go and create a page. Let's say you call the page Loop Grid and you drop a Loop Grid into there, okay? And then you go and start to create your template. Now, before you create your template, when you have your loop grid, normally you have a drop down and you would select posts or products. Now, when you go to that drop down, so you know when you drop your loop grid in and it kind of says what do you want it to be, post or products, you'll now see options for post taxonomy and products taxonomy. So let's just say I go and pick product taxonomy. Then I create my template and you create your template how you want because you can now make it look basically how you want. But there are three key things you really do need to consider. The first one is make sure you use the archive title. So if you drop in a heading widget and then you use the dynamic tag and normally you would have gone and put in the product title or the post title if you're doing post. In this scenario, you must pick the archive title, okay? The archive title is basically going to be the category title that comes through. The third thing you want to do, the, sorry, the second thing you want to do, if you are going to drop in an image widget, make sure when you go to the dynamic tag, make sure you have picked the category image, okay? Because you can drop it in and you will now see the item there, which is category image. Make sure you pick that. If you don't pick that, it's going to pull back the post or the product image. So if you drop in an image widget and you go to the tag, make sure you've picked the category image. And the third thing, if you're going to add in any URL links to the image or the title or anything else on that container for the template, make sure it's pointing to the archive URL, not the post URL, not the product whatever URL, because you tend to only see the post URL anyway, it must go to the archive URL. And then of course you save it. Okay, so once you've done that, and you are now viewing that on a live page, you will see your product categories. So if you've gone and called them like trainers, t-shirts, jeans, hats, they're your categories, you might have a thousand products split over just four categories, you will now see them. And it's so much quicker and easier than what you were doing before manually or with a third party plugin. And by the way, you can use this with custom fields as well. I've not tested that out because obviously I'm using my mobile phone. But you could do that as well, according to the literature that has been released in the email from Elementor. But here's the really important thing. Don't rush away. When you go uh, to view this live and you click on any one of them, it's going to take you to an archive page and you may see every product. So let's say you've got four categories for hats. You click it, you should now see a shop page just for hats. You're probably going to see everything. Why? What's gone wrong? All you've got to do is make sure you go back into your archive template 
It could be your archive template for post. It could be your product archive for your shop archive shop template thing. Make sure that when you go into that template and you go to query, you have a query tab. Don't forget that is there. You know, you probably use that for inclusions and exclusions. Maybe you're picking a custom post type or a custom product type or whatever. But you want to go there. And nine times out of 10, a lot of you will have latest products, latest posts. You need to change that to say current query. So if you're going to have a separate shop page or a separate, 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 a separate post blog page, it's OK to have latest products, latest posts, because you may have that on a separate page. But when you are using an archive template for your shop, for your post, whatever, set that to be current query. Because if you're using breadcrumbs or anything like that, and I go and click hats, I want to now see just hats. So make sure your archive template has got that. And if you do that, I just want to make sure I've not missed anything out yet. If you make sure you do that and you've gone and built your grid now with the new beta version 3.21 taxonomy product post feature, when you click hats, it will open up the shop template, but it will filter to hats. And I'm telling you now, I just tested this out on my mobile phone. I was effing and blinding because, you know, when you try and do it on your mobile phone, you can't do things properly. But I got it working and it works. So I'm happy. I'm in Run Web Squadron. I'm really sorry I've not got any screenshots. You know, hey, I'm not at home. But make sure you got the beta version 3.21. Hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Go and test it out. Love to hear your feedback. See you soon.